Hello there! This video will cover how to resolve the is display set message on a Chromebook and how to access the Linux root directory from the Chrome OS Files app. This is a Media Blitz format that will allow me to share topics faster and keep pace with frequently updated topics. My channel focuses on adding the power of Linux to your Android, Chromebook, or PC without the need to root or remove your system. Additionally, I cover cross-platform topics. My playlists are available from the homepage on my YouTube channel and are organized by operating system and cross-platform topics. To make it easier to follow along with my videos, I include the full written instructions in the pinned comment. So if you scroll down to the comments of the current video you are watching now, you will see the top pinned comment containing the written instructions. To see the whole comment, click on Read More. Any updates will be noted at the top of the pinned comment. Note that you can copy and paste the notes into a text file like I have here with the mousepad text editor. Or, if you're feeling fancy, we can copy and paste the notes into a tiddlywinky notebook, also known as Flexible Offline Searchable Notes. Here, I pressed the backtick key from the top left of the keyboard so that there are three backticks before and after the text. This will apply monospaced block formatting. Keep in mind that you can modify the notes however you'd like, whether that's formatting, adding images, or changing what's in the notes. For more information on TiddlyWiki, I recommend watching my TiddlyWiki videos. That concludes the intro, now onward to the video. In Linux, you may at some point receive an isDisplaySet message. For this example, I tried to start up a desktop and the message isDisplaySet came up. To fix this, I first recommend rebooting Linux. Then after we have rebooted Linux, we can execute Sommelier, space, dash, capital X, space, dash, dash, glamour, space, bash. This will start the bash terminal inside of Sommelier. Note that we can ignore the warnings and errors. After that, we can continue on like usual. For this example, I executed a Go script to start up a desktop, and now my desktop starts up without issue. Next, when it comes to accessing the Linux files from the Chrome OS Files app, the highest directory is the home directory. To access the Linux root directory from the Chrome OS Files app, we can create a symbolic link in the home directory that navigates to the root directory for Linux. To do that from a terminal, we can first execute pwd. This prints the working directory. In other words, it shows the directory we are currently in. After that, we can execute sudo space ln space dash s space slash space tilde slash root. This will create a symbolic link called root in the home directory, which will take us to the root directory in Linux. Once we've done that, we can execute ls to list the files and folders in the current directory. And from here, we can see the symbolic link we created. Now if we go back to the Chrome OS Files app and navigate to the Linux files, we will see the symbolic link to the root directory. And now we can access all of the Linux files from here. And that's all for this video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon!